Namaste and welcome to the Path to Empowerment, the one and only Numinous Path. This is King Gaia, bringing you guys another High Tower Free Tower tutorial. Thank you for supporting my virtual classroom and for allowing me to be of service to you. If you are new to my channel, baby was good. Welcome to the kingdom. What took you so long? <laughs> I am so glad that your intuition and your spirit guides led you here. Come sit with me right here. High towers, doorways are wide open for you. I am grateful for your arrival, okay? Who am I? I'm a metaphysical teacher and human potential coach, shadow work expert. And I use tarot and oracle cards as a tool for self-empowerment and mastery. And I share um, free tutorials like this one and shadow work inspired lectures and life coaching sessions to help you become woke and authentic and self-empowered. Okay, so everything that you need to know about me and my work and my offerings and high tower membership. And of course, the nature and divine purpose of this channel will be posted on the description section of the video right below. Please feel welcome to join our free spiritual community at www.thenuminouspath.com. Okay, so my returning viewers and subscribers, members, welcome back, Legion, Star Seeds, Lightworkers, Chosen Ones. <laughs> this is home, okay? This is our playground, our sacred cyberspace. Uh, let's take a minute to salute special greeting to all my military veterans, of course, all women of color, where you are, babes, and of course, my LGBTQ community, come as you are, people, okay? I see you, I feel you, I love you. Takes one to know one, okay? Hmm, bruh. Okay, so before we get started into today's tutorial is actually a little long so before we get started please take a moment to step into your power and take a virtual seat on this sacred um, starsy vessel let's make it official let's make your voice and your energy and your presence count by subscribing to our channel if you haven't already when you hit both the like and subscribe button you are energetically joining our tribe popping your antenna aligning to our frequency and just allowing um, yourself to really capture understand and integrate our collective messages okay i cannot feel you if i if if you don't make your presence obvious understand okay we are stronger together you know not only you are right now at the right place and at the right time but you were divinely guided to be here with me today so you know please allow me to deliver and if by the end of this video you realize that it could benefit or entertain people that you know and love, please share with them. You know, it's free, it's effortless, and yet it is so meaningful. You know, by doing so, you become an agent of change, not only helping me grow the channel, but also make it possible for them to have access to the information. And, and you allow this content to vibrate higher and expand and reach others in need of the support and the, the inspiration and the guidance, of course. And I am um, thank you. I am very, very grateful. And I thank you for that. Okay. You are my earth angel, period. Okay. Um, tutorials are, of course, 100% free. They are timeless. <clears throat> they are timely. And they are on divine timing, meaning they're perfect for you whenever you find them. Whenever the universe guides you to my door, that's when Tarot Wisdom as a practitioner or as a student is going to help you the most, okay, greatly. And um, you're never late, you're never behind, you're not left out, you know. This tutorial will have a special a special message for you either on our collective um, channeling or as part of, you know, the, the, the content of the lecture, the the skills, um, but you always um, can go back to our archives and just navigate my playlist and check out other tutorials, you know, if you're interested in following my curriculum um, in sequence. I also have timeless pick a card readings and awesome tarot and oracle products unboxing and very good material on shadow work just to get you started on that journey okay so check it out okay um what is the energy for this week 
today's energy is quite beautiful and embracing. Today we have Faith representing energy and Lady representing our travel companion. And obviously Faith speaks of having a positive outlook and a hopeful um vibration you know expectations in life believing in yourself and in your dreams despite adversity you know trusting the universe trusting the process trusting your gut and intuition and trusting guidance you know and also your inner compass guidance from within and guidance that surrounds and protects you knowing um that things will get better even though you don't see it even though there's no guarantee even though there's a veil you know it's just taking the leap and it's, it's such a relevant vibration for today's topic you you just have no idea the um the the travel companion here um speaks of um abundance and fertility and growth and support you know the lady is the empress card in tarot and she represents everything that has to do with growth and rewards you know um enjoying the fruits of your labor and knowing that there is plenty and there's enough for everyone and that you will get your share you know there's so much abundance and opportunities in the world um and you will get to have your piece of the cake you know your fulfillment in all forms whatever you describe as abundance and prosperity and success will come to your door you know what is in your vortex right now is the energy of focus what do you want to focus on you know knowing that you are supported and provided for knowing that you're not alone knowing that there is a support system and knowing that based on that particular vibration you are attracting you know it, this is not a, a time for chasing this is a time for attracting you know attracting your team attracting your tribe your partner your support system your safety net your bag this this is this is the vibration today okay today's tutorial you know for for the for the last you know last week we we started our tarot fundamental series and um we share tarot decks um you know the bare essentials you know we flip through the deck to get you familiarized with the images with the hierarchy and, and you know the symbology and uh, like i said we are going to navigate everything tarot you know this series will dig into every freaking thing on tarot language you know the elements the archetypes the numerology the detail symbology all of it all of it but before we get to the breakdown you know speaking of you know travel companion speaking of taking the leap trusting you know we need to honor the head bitch in charge and is is not the emperor <laughs> it's not the king of cups right it is not even the magician i know right you know i i feel the same way the number one character in tarot is the fool right mr wonder himself there is no tarot without the fool this guy he sits on his own space unbothered but you know once he steps into the journey bro love have mercy lord have mercy is you know unbelievable I, and i'm going to tell you right now don't let the name the fool fool your ass okay not even for a minute this guy right here is pure perfection he is the ultimate archetype he is the self and the whole journey you know for him is to experience life and go back to himself you know his divinity authenticity and wholeness he knows that he is part of creation and he is in complete alignment with or the original spark with his higher self you know and like i share with you guys in a previous previous tutorial when we were talking about authenticity 
if you could grab the entire tarot deck and just compress it in one archetype, that archetype would be the self. And it's represented by the fool. The self is the full the full the full spectrum of what we are, you know. So it doesn't judge, it doesn't deny, it doesn't suppress or oppress any of its parts. You know, he's in complete self acceptance vibration, you know. He is the fool only because um he's hopeful you know and so happy to embrace a human life um he has this childlike uh, enthusiasm you know he's maybe a little naive though you know feeling so excited and inspired and open you know about life despite the hazards and the pain that you know the human condition will bring about you know, just look at him. This guy is dancing with open arms, holding a lily, which is a symbol of, you know, innocence and purity and virtue and everything that's good. You know, his soul is 100% uncorrupted. There's no contamination. There's no toxicity. Toxicity. There's no negativity. There's no um, programming. This, this dude is 100% pure love, you know. He's like, stop and smell the roses. You know, he is living in the present time. There's no past. There's no future. He's harnessing the power of now. He can't even hear. Look at this here. You see the dog? He's just barking and jumping. He can't even hear the dog barking, alerting him not to fall down the cliff. Okay? He is like one second away from falling into the abysm of life itself but he doesn't care he is going to take the leap okay um maybe the only idiotic thing here if any okay is his desire to experience a human life but the thing is that he knows that that is the only way to grow and evolve as a soul you know, so he's optimistic, he's very freaking eager, he's pompous shit, you know, like he's ready. And um nothing nothing can defeat him. Look at look at him. Look look at this energy. Okay. Imagine yourself um being this perfect pure soul and having the audacity to volunteer to come into this earth to serve and help humanity. Just, just imagine that for a sec. That is the hero's journey, okay? He knows the rewards of soul ascension and nirvana that he will get, and he knows that the creator is so damn proud of him. So who is the fool now, okay? You know, he's completely in faith vibration, and he knows that the universe got his back. He's fully supported and provided for he just needs to take the leap and he's going to do it because he's a fool okay <laughs> i'm not going to get too much um into the details of his journey because it will be way too long um so for this tutorial we're just going to focus on him and his personality and the archetype um, I already created a special extended lecture on the fool's journey, just breaking down step by step, navigating the mayor arcanas um, car by car. And I'm going to link it below for you so you can grab it. Okay, so let's boogie. You know, I am going to share with you some hot tea on this fool. So, you know, you get to know him a little better. Okay, yes, you're welcome. Okay, so, so who that boy? Okay. Who is he? You know, he is simply the wonder. You know, he is the main character in Tarot. You know, he is the storyline, meaning that he is representing both you and me, all of us. Don't do not roll your eyes. It's true. You know, the fool is no other than the materialization of our consciousness. He is the traveler or the hero within each one of us you know he's trapped into this human body you know he he is the representation of our human incarnation or 
the actual you know physical representation of our projections, our triggers, our patterns as we travel life, right? Um, his journey, his ups and downs, his failures and his triumphs, all of it, his thoughts, emotions, dreams, nightmares are our own. This is us, okay? The fool's journey is a metaphor for the journey through life. You know, every human on earth trying to find their true self and becoming in complete alignment with our original spark. You know, this dude is our higher self, you know, in divine connection. He's non-corrupted. Remember, he's in his own little bubble here. This is the version of ourself that remains connected to the source. If he's wise, he's divine. And again, you know, he hasn't, you know, been damaged or traumatized by our human incarnation yet. Now, each mayor arcana will stand or represent a stage on that particular journey, on the fool's journey. Each card, all 22 cards, you know, it's a step, it's a milestone. Um, this experience, this, this is just a representation of the experience that a person, a human being, uh, will incorporate to realize wholeness and, you know, divinity, authenticity. And I'm talking about big milestones, big karmic lessons, you know, big important phases, the growth that we face on our quest to self, just trying to get back to the full original consciousness. On his journey, um, this guy will face, experience, and embody all archetypes. So if you are familiar with um, Carl Jung, Carl Jung, the creator of archetypes, um, he believed that these um, archetypes or personality, all 12 of them, um, these models, they reside inside our collective consciousness and they represent something that we all have in common as a human race, okay? And uh, these characters are, you know, the sage, the innocent, explorer, the ruler, creator, caregiver, magician, the hero, the rebel, the lover, the jester, and the everyman, okay? And of course, the fool represents the innocence um, or the hero as well. And um, in, in its original form, then he, you know, he travels and embody every single one of them, okay? So, and we see these archetypes play out in the mayor arcana in one way or another, you know? So the fool will also face himself as a persona, you know, or the mask, you know, the ego, the animus, the shadow, and finally the true self, you know, it's, it's really, really deep, you know, he represents self-realization, you know, um, he represents etheric surrender, he's the seeker, the seer, the doer, the conqueror, this fool right here, he's all of it, look at him, Looking dumb as hell, he is the wisest, okay? Because he will travel through this journey and embody every single aspect of our lives. This is us. And I, you know, I ain't gonna lie. There's different reactions to the fool when it appears in a card or per se through, you know, through history. There's different reactions. You know, there's mixed mix feelings, you know? Some, some of us want to cheer for him and love him and protect him because he's so vulnerable and so naive and, you know, so pure, you know? Some of us appreciate his freedom and his innocence, but some also may hate him or envy the guy, or pe perhaps they just want to like slap him around a bit and punish him because he's so carefree, you know? And um, some people may criticize his lack of responsibility, you know, because he looks like he's, you know, zero fucks given. It depends on the shadows of the person who's receiving, you know, or facing the Joker, which bu which buttons he's pushing for you. But in reality, he's not zero fucks given. I really don't think so. I think he gives all the fucks. He cares more than you know, and his journey and his efforts will be rewarded, okay? Um, and I am sharing with you his journey on that special lecture, um, The Fool's Journey, and it's, I want you to grab it and, and check it out because it's truly touching, it's, it's aspirational, and it's very inspirational. And it, it just narrates life 
um, in a way that you may or may not have thought about. And I promise you, you will not feel the same about this guy after that. You know, my job as a guide through doing that lecture is to illuminate you and, you know, to help put some respect on his name <laughs> because he's ultimately representing every single one of us, okay? So, you know, we got, he, he's representing, so we need to be nice to this guy. Um, one of the questions that come about is, you know, when the full card appears in a reading, what does it mean, you know? And, um, you know, default mode, if you want one single word, is initiation. It's no beginning, right? The full is up. It's often perceived as a happy-go-lucky dude, you know, carefree or innocent or vibrant because, you know, obviously you can see all this. The sun is here, all this yellow is very vibrant, you know, his outfit speaks of prosperity and abundance and just, you know, this happy disposition. He's traveling in light, you know. He, you know, it's, it's just him, you know, in his bubble, you know. Um, but when he appears in a reading, there's so many interpretations that we can really um, uh, trust, you know. Of course, there's the new beginning, you know, at any stage of our lives. Um, it's also a representation of taking the leap, you know. Um, it's traveling light, of course, you know, keeping it simple, just staying humble, okay. Um, it could also speak of experiencing life as a newborn or just a general inexperience level you know like a student path type of thing this could represent young people who are leaving home for the first time or uh, people starting a new job or moving or graduating or just experiencing a big day one um, rite of passage situation um i say that it also of course represents a clean slate a second chance in life. This is a reset. This is reinventing ourselves and jumping into a new way of life, um, or just reclaiming our lives. This this is reclaiming. You know, it, it's like phoenix rising from the ashes. This is rebirth energy as well. We can also see the fall as a representation of new cycles. You know, um, maybe every seven years you know the seven year cycles in life and our human existence or maybe every saturn return you know if we want to get very esoteric we can say that it represents each incarnation you know our souls just volunteering you know for a human experience even though we understand the the undertaking right it's, you know that's that's how it is it's, it is what it is um now, before we get into today's layout, I want to um, share with you more information on our High Tower Tarot Collective, and I want you to consider joining us. If you are interested in learning how to read tarot technically and intuitively in depth, you know, car by car competency or if you just want to hone or sharpen your skill or you know just remember things here and there then consider joining our tarot collective you know i believe that learning tarot requires practice and devotion and and deep exploration and that's what we're doing inside the tower okay um when yes yes, yes you can join a tarot class and of course a tarot class will introduce you to tarot and it will open doors for you you know, for, for that connection, but it, it, it's not deep enough. You know, what, what makes our collective unique and transformational is the combination of experiencing both that initiation that a class will give you, but also the, um, the further um, cultivation of your connection to tarot. That's what matters. You know, High Tower Tarot is a dedicated tarot collective for anyone interested in learning tarot and activating your magician code. Um, it is my official membership, um, mentorship, and um, you know, it's focused on self-mastery and energy leadership, and of course, the ongoing interpretation and integration of tarot, sacred wisdom in our day-to-day -day life. It's um, incredibly affordable. There's no strings attached. You know, 
I respect and honor and believe in free will. You can cancel any time after, you know, you go through the full deck rotation or whenever you feel fully comf confident and competent about your tarot skills. You know, I am a mama bear and I provide a safe space, judgment-free, supportive environment. There's nothing to lose and there's a lot for you to gain, okay? So if you are really serious about tarot like us, then we are your tribe and we're aiming to become the largest tarot lovers and tarot expert community in the world and this is my invitation for you to partake you know i do post free free weekly um tutorials here on youtube like this one but inside the tower for members only that's where you know magic happens we do the extended forecast and we do in-depth arcana study and real life integration um spiritual coaching session so go ahead and give us a try you know thank you for going through that i want to get on right on to today's layouts um i'm gonna keep it simple you know it's a short lecture again like i said i go really in depth in the fool's journey on the special lecture that i'm gonna link for you below so the sim we're gonna keep it simple also for the layouts and you know the fools uh, as a car and as a journey it speaks of living here and now it's about the here and now focusing you know on our path working on ourselves you know um looking you know seeking for our authenticity and our divinity and wholeness and all that but it's it's, it's focus on the path you know one step at a time so the first the first layout that i want to present for you today is a, either you can make it um a three car or a five car layout you know and i'm calling it the here and now it's, it's very simple you can name it however you want okay get creative go to town i don't care three cards to the point time base and path base past present future you know but there is a purpose for each snap you know for the past, we're going to focus on where you've been. That's the revelation. That card is going to reveal where you've been, you know, on your path. Present is going to focus on where are you right now? What is your present environment? What is your current energy and vibration? What's surrounding you? Who's surrounding you? That's, that's all we want to focus on. And then for the future, the energy is where you're going. Where are you heading? What is next? What is your next step? That will be the simple version. If you want to extend it, then we can dig a little further and add a, a fourth card asking the question, how did you get here? And we're going to place it between the past and the present, of course. How did you get here? Like, do you know where you are? How did you get here? What were the elements that influenced that position? Okay. And then, of course, when sitting in the present, looking out to the future, the car will be what are the challenges or opportunities that are, are are right there for you available for you to benefit or facilitate this future you know um so past present future how you got there and challenges for you welcome to pause the video if you need to write down hopefully you do understand my i'm writing it's just chicken scratch <laughs> A, don't judge okay don't judge okay and then of course the next um layout the next spread also a three car simple um no we're not going to extend it i don't want to complicate it because working with archetypes is confusing and complicating enough there's a lot of energy and elements you know yes maybe you can create a pro and con of situations but i do not recommend that I, I i recommend that you know we keep it simple i mean we are talking about the full the full vibration is about simplicity keeping a simple traveling light so um this reading will focus on your archetype um the fool's journey is all about finding your authenticity um, finding connecting with your divinity and your wholeness and he as a traveler us as travelers in life we navigate different archetypes you know the question the here the question will be what is your dominant archetype what is your dominant archetype right now and um you know the first card of course will 
ask that question. What is your archetype right now? What is it that you need to know? Where are you sitting at? What is your, you know, predominant vibrational state? Where, where are we at right now? You know, and I see there's many ways for us to actually expand this reading if you want to. I, I, I rather if you keep it simple, but we can dig into, you know, vibrational state. What is your vibrational state? What is, that is supporting this archetype right now? Okay. Then we have, of course, here how to activate. Let's say that this is your archetype right now, but you you hear it and you're like, no, it makes no sense. Then it needs, it needs activation. Maybe it, it needs to be activated or it needs healing or it needs to be transmuted. This is a process. How can you heal, activate, or transmute this, this particular archetype if you don't feel that it's in alignment, right? Um, maybe, you know, your archetype is sitting on, you know, on some sort of arc. It might be passive. It might be aggressive. It might be, it might be silent, dormant, you know. How do you activate it? How do you heal it or transmute it, okay? And last but not least is the outcome. The, this card will represent, you know, the enriched, activated, upgraded, elevated version of this archetype. Or maybe it will just reveal a complete different archetype. That's where it gets complicated. Maybe by evolving here, you turn into something else. Meaning, let's see that you are the healer, for example. But... You know, how do you activate the healer? You activate the healer by doing service and teaching. Then the healer becomes, you know, a teacher, a master, a sage. You know, that's that's how it, it changes. You know, that's so we have to be open-minded of the transformation that we're experiencing as we walk the path. Okay. I am actually sharing with you guys. Um, okay. Let me make sure. Be sure to pause it if you need to write this down. Okay, I am sharing with you guys a few links to help you do some research on your personality type and archetypes. You know, um, there's many resources on archetype information for you to get more familiar with Carl Jung's um, work. There's also personality tests that can help you figure out your profile, you know, your predominant vibration and personality. So you can go ahead and get your free personality test done and then do that first. And then if you're going to do this reading, this reading can help you expand your self-knowledge, okay? Or vice versa, you know? Once you figure out, you know, these two archetypes, maybe you go into a profile and, and do more research on what does that look like, you know, for you in your real life, you know? Anyway, so... Um, I am finishing my tutorial here. I hope that you guys enjoy it. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for supporting our virtual classroom, King Gaia Out.